Monday. I got you already. Don't worry. Thanks. The secret of what I'm listening to is still cat. That's what you're thinking about? Dude, we just had a gun pulled on us while waiting for the bus. Wait, what? You're kidding, right? Sure. Me couldn't keep his mouth shut, and someone waiting at the red light got pissed at him, and so a gun got pulled. Lucky no shots were fired. It's, it's whatever. We should probably get a little on down the road next time so they don't see us in the future. <laughs> anyway, how did you get that back here? Oh, that was pretty good. I went to a study site with the Arctic Poison, as Ralph Waldo Emerson says, and Amtrak California tweeted, do not go where the path may lead, go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. You know what I mean? Totally, dude. Oh, oh, I think I do know what you're talking about. Wow, I think I just got some sort of crazy deja vu. Karl Marx, history repeats itself. First as tragedy, second as farce. Religion is the opium of the masses. Aristotle, the whole is more than the sum of its parts. Uh, Plato, Socrates. Nope, now I'm completely lost. Philosophy. <laughs> totally understand, home skillet. <laughs> the only way you could be in power or royal in the 1700s was to inbreed. Would you do it, Julie? <clears throat> is this because of our history class? The, uh, the, uh, something family? The Habsburgs, yes, and their inbred chins. Their chins kept getting longer, and their ruling became less efficient. But they lived in a castle and not on the streets. So would you? If it was my current family, then definitely not. Fair point. Say just as who I'd be in that time period. I want you to think I'd make propaganda all day and go do speeches. Hey, Miss Michelle, could you sign this? Absolutely. Happy birthday, Kara. Thank <laughs> you. 